today we are in New Holland, Pennsylvania, standing in front of Yoder's Restaurant and Buffet. Now this buffet has some stiff competition. Tell them, Bobby. Yeah, it's Shady Maples. I mean, it's huge, isn't it, John? Yep, and it's just right down that road. So we're here for the dinner buffet. Never been here before. So we're gonna go in there and check it out, and you are coming with us. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Yoder's Restaurant and Buffet. There are their hours. They have a brunch in here, 10 a.m. to 2 on Sunday. And each night they have a different special. There they are. Tonight is Wednesday night. So we're gonna have smoked pork, chicken wings, and catfish. I'd like to be here for the two on Friday and Saturday. We're normally not up here on the weekends. Now the buffet is inside this plaza which also consists of a hair salon, a country market, craft shop, and a pharmacy. There's a hair salon in there, some crafts. Turn down this way, you can see a lot more crafts. So if you're here a little early and you wanna go do something, look around at this. Bobby always enjoys going into craft shops because the buffet does not open till four and it's through those doors there's Bobby, you like the stores up here, don't you? I do, they always have some neat little things to look at. I bought a shirt in there one time, it looked pretty. Cool. Yeah, and if you want to, you can just go through those doors to the market. Let's take a look at the menu at Yoder's Restaurant and Buffet. Lunch buffet from 11 to 3.30, $14.99. A salad bar, soup and salad. A salad bar, soup and dessert. Sunday brunch from 10 to 2, $17.99. Here are all the dinner buffets. We're here on Wednesday night, so it's $19.99 tonight. Friday night's a seafood, $26.99, and Saturday has some seafood and brisket, $21.99. They serve Coke, have milkshakes, hot chocolate, ice cream float, $4.49, kids menu, and there are the sides. This is a Monday through Thursday menu from 2 to 7 soups and salad crispy chicken breast chef salad there's the sandwiches they're all served with potato chips or you could upgrade to some french fries and other items for 250 cup of soup for three dollars you want to add that on have a deli sandwich some wraps pretzel sandwich batters ham balls roasted chicken meatloaf fried butterfly shrimp turkey spaghetti and it talks about being short staff like what every place in the United States is today start off let's look at the buffet beef stroganoff turkey some nacho cheese and chips it looks like maybe like a taco salad or Mexican casserole is what it is asparagus casserole broccoli and cauliflower Chips and cheese. Chips and chili over here. Glazed baby carrots. Brussels sprouts. Chicken lasagna. Baked tilapia. Barbecue chicken wings. Baked chicken. Ham balls. There's corn. Chicken gravy and pork gravy. Brown buttered noodles. Potato filling. Mashed potatoes. Macaroni and cheese. Stewed tomatoes. 
green beans, roasted chicken, ham with gravy. Look at the salad bar, all the dressings. Pretty good selection. Some celery cut up. There's a cucumber salad that I like. Beets, some pickled eggs, olives, some pickles, and parmesan, some salad. There's a salad. More salad over here. Tomatoes, carrots, onions, mushrooms. Some ham, crushed up eggs, macaroni salad, coleslaw, cottage cheese, some fruit, more dressings. That looks like apple butter in there. And have some soup. Corn chowder, ham, vegetable, garlic bread dinner rolls, cinnamon rolls, baked oatmeal, and warm bacon dressing. They have a fixin' bar here also. Baked potatoes, mushrooms, cocktail sauce, tartar sauce, other items, and a grilling station. I'm not sure what all they make back here. We'll find out. So I'm at the grilling station and we're gonna see what all they make. How are you? What's your name and what all you guys fix back here? I'm uh, Davia, I'm doing pretty great. So everything we have tonight, we have corn fritters, Cajun crusted catfish, and we have a pulled pork. And what do you have? You have like a seafood night, what other stuff you have? We do, on um, Friday nights we have our surf and turf night and we have uh, crab cakes, mussels, clams, uh, salmon, shrimp, all of that, and then we have our turf. So we have a roast beef and there's a lot of meat options up on the buffet. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Here is the seating in Yoder's in the front. Just opened up so people are starting to come in. Quite a bit of seats in here. Cakes are included in the lunch and dinner buffet. Let's just go down through them and see. A lot of different assortments. They have Looks like toppings for your cakes. There's caramel, hot fudge, shoe fly pie cake. Stuff to do ice cream with. Fresh ice cream. And we have applesauce, pineapple, peaches, whipped topping. Oranges, pears, more fruit, that's bread pudding, it's rice, tapioca, and peach tapioca, it's chocolate pudding, jello, cookies, and grapes. There's some more desserts. The ones that are green or teal have no sugar. So there's a lot of choices. Egg custard, real egg custard. The first one's pie egg custard. And some more pudding, strawberry, rhubarbs, what that says. Okay, that's all of it. Pretty good selection. Man. Almost missed this. They have hand dipped ice cream if you want it. it says Aster Waitress. Bobby and I picked this spot clear in the back by the desserts. And there's also more seating back here. This place pretty large. Just I turn around and walk up, you can kind of see everything again. Right there. This place has a lot of different items on a buffet that we don't normally see up in Amish country. Like what Bobby got. Asparagus. I mean, that's different. It's asparagus casserole. Yeah, we've never seen it like that. The crackers. A 
It's like a cream sauce on there. The asparagus are done nice. They're not real hard. The crackers give a little bit of a salty taste. That is, I like this. Reminds me if it's similar to um, when people do a green bean casserole. Have we ever seen that? I never have. No. And I don't think we've ever seen this. This is chicken lasagna. Because I don't remember ever seeing chicken lasagna Not anywhere. Not in the Amish country buffet. No. no. Lasagna. You can see the noodles. How nice and done they are. Yeah. And the, the cheeses. That's different with the chicken in it. What do you think? Compared to the beef. I, the beef's probably my favorite, but this is something different. So I would do this at home. I know you like Brussels sprouts. I do. Not a whole lot you can say about them. <laughs> yeah. Either you like them or you don't. Yeah. Because they remind me of uh, cabbage. I could cook cabbage. Was it decent? I like them. All right. Try them. I think there's something you have to have a taste for. That one was done. I mean, that one tasted pretty good. Oh, yeah. And the roasted chicken, which is everywhere I just got up a here. a small piece so I could try some other Should things. be crunchy. You would like this, John. The crunchiness on it. I can see it. Chicken's moist. Everything so should be good. They got an excellent buffet up there. I think so. I like the variety. I do too. It all should be good because a different variety. Just walked in at four, so it definitely should all be fresh. All right, guys. Let's look at mine. But look at the size of this handball. I know. That's. I love the handballs now. If you guys have watched our channel. You know this is common up in this area. It's a pretty good size one. Is that a sweet and sour on the handballs? Okay, that's what it pineapple looks like. Pineapple glaze. Oh, okay, pineapple glaze. Basically sweet and sour, pineapple mm -hmm. glaze, sweet and sour is the same. I've never tried it, so I wasn't sure. Turn it around and you can see. That's pretty good. With that sweet and sour or pineapple glaze, which you call it, on there. It tastes so good, it's, it's done well. You guys can tell. And that's a big one. That is huge. Some baked fish. Let's just try it. Fish is done well. Nice mild taste to it. It's not overcooked at all. Little tiny chicken wings. Barbecue chicken wings. Let's try one. These are little. Mm -hmm. We like chicken wings. Mm -hmm. They went up so much in price. It's unreal. Now, I like my chicken wings normally a little bigger than that. Bobby likes the small ones like I this. I do. <laughs> not like the flats. Yeah. This tastes, this tastes excellent. I mean, the, the barbecue glaze that they have on it is good. It's definitely fresh. I mean, it's not been sitting around. Now, there's so much stuff up there. We didn't want to get a bunch of anything. It's like, this is one of the specialties nights is the Cajun catfish. I wanted a bigger piece, and I might get some more, but I want to try some more things. Got a nice little crunch to it when I went through it with the fork. Mm -hmm. That is so good. I mean, the, the Cajun spice on there, it's not really spicy. I mean, taste just a little bit to it. Catfish is done well with that crunch. Probably that's probably like a, a panko batter, what it looks like yeah, to me. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Another item for tonight is the smoked pork. It looks pretty tender. It, it does. That's very tender. You don't even really have to chew it. It has a mild smoke taste to it. It's not overly smoky. And got some brown noodles. Mm. Those are done well. Hot. Nothing fancy about them. A decent tasting. My favorite thing out of everything on here, and I love handballs, you guys know that, but I love this Cajun catfish out of everything I've tried. But it's all good. I'm happy with it. Now we went back up for round two and got a little bit, some other items. Sweet corn, macaroni and cheese, ham with gravy. What'd you get the second time? Corn fritters, garlic bread, and some corn chowder. I really wanted to get a salad, but it just got packed in here. You couldn't even get to the salad bar. There's probably about 20 people around there. So That's a good sign, round. I guess. It is. All right, so there's the corn. Got some on my bowl. 
Looks like there's some potatoes in there and the corn. It's like a thick sauce, huh? Mm -hmm. I like the broth to it. Like I said, I think the potatoes make it get thicker. I know I got so much corn going on here. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Now yeah, you got corn there, corn there. Because I think I would like that. Sour dessert. cream on that. That's different. Yeah. I told her to give me the smallest piece. She's busy. She's, She's got a line busy. up there now. So it's kind of like a pancake batter with corn in it. It's probably not something I would get again. But this is one of their most popular things. Yeah, so we read. Here. But it's not for me. And you got a little piece of garlic, garlic bread. bread. Got good crunch. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's try this corn. Look how small the kernels are in that. I think it has a better flavor when it's smaller like that. That's a great flavor. A little sweet. It's hot. The reason to say it's hot because a lot of times you read stuff and say everything's cold here. But the place has some reviews on TripAdvisor. We haven't experienced that at all. Mm -hmm. We were here as soon as they opened, but I don't know how they could be cold because there's nothing left up there. We showed you earlier how it was full. There's so many people up there now. Some of that stuff is, but they're putting it right back out, filling it up. Ham with gravy. Don't think I've ever had ham with gravy. I like that. But that gravy makes it just maybe a little salty. Mm -hmm. But that's that's gravy. I wouldn't want to. For me, I don't like gravy on the ham. That's not too bad. But I'd rather have it without the gravy. Try the macaroni and cheese. Got little panko crumbs on it. Looks like macaroni and cheese. It's creamy. A little crunch from the panko. Nice flavor. Beef. Stroganoff. A lot of beef. Let's just look. Mm -hmm. I saw that up there. I thought about getting a... Well, I'm going to try to hit the salad no. bar if I can. If you can get to it. That's good. That beef is so tender. You guys might be able to see it. I mean, that's a, there's a lot of beef. Mm -hmm. There is. And I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen that on a buffet. Round two, just as good as the first. Gotta get some more of that Cajun catfish because that so far is my favorite thing. All right, guys, this place is known for these corn fritters. You can see all the look at all the corn that's in it. Mm -hmm. Can you see those in the? It's loaded with. I love corn. I'm gonna try it. I didn't have any with the sour cream on it. That's not something I'm. Gonna do. <laughs> I like sour cream. Something's gonna happen right here that you normally <laughs> don't see on our channel. I'm disagreeing with Bobby on this. <laughs> That's pretty dang on good. I like mm -hmm. corn. Mm -hmm. I do too. And that is just, to me, I like, you don't like cream corn now. No, I do not. So that has a, even though it's a like a pancake thing, has a more of a cream corn taste to it. Okay. So I would get that, but definitely would not put sour cream on <laughs> it. That's a no-no. So see, that's why you come try it yourself. It may be something that we like that you don't, or mm -hmm. We won't like it and you do. So yeah, I like you that. have to check it out. That was good. I finally did get up to the salad bar. They filled everything back up. Because I'm telling you what, earlier, you couldn't get near it. Third and final time, except for some desserts. Already tried a turkey. Excellent. Had to get some more. So far, really, my favorite thing out of everything I've tried is this Cajun catfish. So I got a little more of that. What you guys think I was gonna, not going to get this? I saw that up there. I wondered if you had seen it. I saw it, you know, and I almost put it in this plate. But if you guys do get that, make sure you put it in these because this stuff would have went all over this plate. Yeah. And I got a couple pickles. I went up there to check out the desserts. There's all kinds of cakes, pudding up there, pies, ice cream. But this one just stuck out to me, I guess because it's orange. I make a orange cake and you put peaches in it, but I don't see any peaches in that one, so. Oh, it's real nice and moist. This icing with that, I think it tastes like a dream sickle. You would love this one. Now, looking at it through this uh, camera, it doesn't look as orange as it does in person. It's really orange. Oh yeah, it's really the, the, orange. The phone's not showing that up. But if you like dream sickles, this is a cake for you. 
There must be 25 different things up there you can choose from. It's I hard know. to pick one. And then there's some fruit up there if you didn't want a cake or ice cream. I think John's going to get some hand scoop ice yeah, cream. Yeah, they make it here. You know what we should do? We should come in here sometime and just eat desserts. <laughs> so many choices up there. Shoe fly pie was up there. Shoe fly cake. Blueberry pie. But I had to get this from one of our subscribers who's been with us a long time and she lives in South Africa. Val, this was for you. You said the other day you wanted me to get cherry pie and I didn't. So this is what I got. So you're getting first bite instead of me. <laughs> Wish you were here, Val. Oh, here it comes. Zoom in on that, Bobby. Give her a big bite of that. Okay, I'm trying not to get too close because it changes. How'd you like that, Val? I hope you enjoyed that. Everybody else out there, this time it's my turn. That is so good, guys. Crush. Maybe it's because I hadn't had cherry pie for a while. I, this year. I always get shoe fly pie. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the last time I had it. It's nice and cold. The glaze that they use in there and those cherries taste so good and the little crumbs. That is excellent. I'm glad I got that. All right, what'd you get? Ice cream, hand scooped, made here. Let's go walk up here and put some hot fudge on it. Okay. Some hot fudge, just to get it all stirred up nice. Look at that. Oh, that's enough. I can spread that, that around. That is enough. That's enough. Now, if you want the hand scooped ice cream, you have to ask your waiter or waitress, and Donovan was nice enough to get us a scoop. They had a, a couple different types of ice cream. I think there was a black raspberry. There's a bunch of them. I think I showed it in the video. There's okay. all kinds of it. But you just can't get in there, which is better. Yeah. Because you don't want everybody just jamming their hands and arms down in no. the bowl. That's good that they have to get. That's all we're going to eat tonight because I think Bobby and I have reached our max. <laughs> Bobby said she was going to split this with me. What happened? I'm full. I can't. I just take one bite. Uh, yeah, one bite. She got one bite. It's she very said it was rich. Very rich. Mm -hmm. And it's, I think that's because of all the hot fudge. Yes. But you did like it. I did because it's uh, homemade. You can mm -hmm. tell. I think you're right. We may just have to come for the dessert next mm -hmm. time. Now we're done. Let's take a look at our receipt at Yoder's Restaurant. There's your address. Bobby's Coke. $279, the two buffets are $39.98, a grand total of $45.34. Well, we just left Yoder's Restaurant and Buffet. Before we get into the review, I want to say something. As you guys know, Bobby and I are big on reading stuff on TripAdvisor. Before we go into a restaurant, we always read what the specialty is and how they rate it. And we read about this one. And this one had a lot of negative reviews for like cold food, not keeping stuff warm, just average, staff not friendly. We didn't see any of that, no, the, none of that. So we're gonna talk about it right now. So go ahead, Bobby, tell us about your experience. First, I wanted to give a shout out to our waiter, Donovan. Did an excellent job refilling our drinks, taking our plates when we were finished with them. The whole entire staff mm -hmm. was very All friendly. friendly. Um, I asked a few questions about the desserts, they were there, very helpful, and the people that were at the grill, they, they told us some things of what they were making, so friendly stuff. I like this buffet because it had different items on it that you usually don't see on a buffet. That lasagna chicken, that was excellent. I would get that again. Now, John asked me if I like beef or the chicken better, which I think I'm a fan of the beef just because it's something that I eat all the time. But that chicken gave it a different flavor with the cheese and uh, cream sauce that they put in there. And the um, I really enjoyed casserole. The asparagus casserole with the crackers on it gave it some, like a salty taste with the crackers. And the salad bar was excellent. It had the romaine and the mixed greens. It had every vegetable you wanted to put on your salad up there. So I enjoyed the meal. Now for my experience in there, my favorite thing was the Cajun catfish. The chicken wings were little, but they had a great flavor to them. 
love the sweet corn, love Bobby's corn fritter yeah. that she didn't like. <laughs> so overall, I liked pretty much everything I tried. I thought the quality was good. But, but let's get into what we said as soon as we came on here at the end. Tour bus came in there, maybe two tour buses from Sight and Sound. People everywhere, they wiped stuff out. So we didn't go up there when all that was going on because there's too many people. But we went right back up after they kind of cleared out. Everything was full, wasn't it, Bobby? Yeah, it was. I mean, there wasn't anything empty. The desserts were full. You got homemade ice cream in here. So what I read on TripAdvisor, we didn't see any of that. None of the staff was rude. They were all friendly. Nothing was cold that we had. Nothing was empty. I don't know if it's the time of year that some of those people I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure because, you know, it depends on the time of the year. Sometimes it's slower in this area. I'm not sure. But today, everything was hot. Yeah, for, yeah. It was full. Staff was friendly. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I would definitely come back again. So don't always go by what you read sometimes. Yeah, because we Somebody almost did. Have a bad experience and maybe you you won't. So come experience it yourself. We almost didn't come here. Yeah. So we like we always try to go to the top rated restaurants. We know this place has been here for a while. Oh, and something else. While we were in there, there was a lot of Amish family that came in there. Well, the Amish are local here, so it must be something good about it because they're eating in there. So for our trip in there. We highly recommend this place. Now we know Shady Maples is right down there. Not gonna compare the two. They're both excellent. We love Shady Maples. Not gonna tell you which one we like better because I couldn't really tell you now because this one has some different stuff. Yeah, so come try this one out. See how your experience is. Let us know if you've been here before. Yeah, which comments. one you like the best? Which one of the two do you like the best? Not even which one you like best, just how your experience yeah. was at this specific place. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building.